Welcome to the Uptown Waterloo virtual tour. My name is Pierre Fillion and I am a prof at the School of Planning. And one of my areas of interest is the downtowns of mid-sized cities. This is an aerial photograph, the inevitable Google aerial photograph. And Uptown Waterloo is here and downtown Kitchener is there. Waterloo uh, city center was mo much more modest by comparison. Now this is the relationship of Waterloo, Uptown Waterloo, which is here, to the university campus, which is there. Okay, so it's about a 15 minute walk or maybe 20 minute walk. The walk involves going through Waterloo Park over here. Okay, so going through the pathways and so on, or you can take the LRT and it's two stations on the, on the LRT. Um, this is important. This is an important observation, the proximity, but the not so close proximity because there has been another uh, development that has taken place here, retailing. In fact, it is mostly concentrated on restaurants and that includes this part as well. And this attracts a lot of patronage from the university campus. And this is what University Plaza, which is the retailing concentration, the restaurant concentrations close to the university looks like. And from a planning perspective, it's a disaster. Okay, because it's totally car oriented. But it's used extensively and from and, and business wise, it does very well. Now, just what I can't not say this. So this is Caroline Street and this is Herb Street. You arrive to Uptown by walking the pedestrian path here and you have to cross this intersection. Okay. The problem is that the traffic here has a right turn with no traffic lights. There's a sign that says yield to pedestrians. Most cars do it, but you only need one car that won't do it. And then you have to negotiate this crossing here with the cars that are coming forward. I think this is a major disaster. This is a major, th 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 this is an accident waiting to happen or major accident waiting to happen. And it co completely goes against all objectives to make uh, Uptown Waterloo pedestrian friendly. This is Uptown Waterloo oh, several decades ago, but in, in essence, this is Uptown Waterloo like uh, the way it looked like about 20 years ago. Uptown Waterloo was the first place in Canada, the first downtown of mid-sized cities to accommodate a shopping mall. Okay, so in the 1950s, I don't remember, like 56, 57, 58, there was a development of a shopping mall in Uptown Waterloo, and that was a major innovation in terms of mid-sized cities downtown. And in fact, in, in, in terms of what happened in downtowns as well. Now, but the downsides of that is that it transformed much of downtown into a parking area. And then within the mall, it was an inter, inside mall, and I don't know how many stores, I'd say you would have had about 60 stores. So it was kind of a community-sized mall, and uh, and it was demo partly demolished 60 years ago, uh, 20 years ago, sorry, including this office building. And what remains of the mall is one part here that is still there with the grocery store, Value Mart, and uh, Beer Town, and the uh, Barber, and the drugstore. And the area in front here has been transformed into a public space. And that was a major issue. Retailers objected that because they said people want to be able to park right in front of the of our store, which in fact is not true. But nevertheless, it went ahead and it's now successful. Okay, and now this is what it looks like after the redevelopment that has taken place over the last 15 years. Okay, so we see let okay, so we see some of the components we looked at before. Okay, you have the office building that was standing up here. The mall used to take the space here, but that building here was part of that mall. The rest was demolished. 
and replaced by street facing office buildings and retailing at ground level. Same thing here, street facing as well, and same thing here as well. So there's street facing retailing. So that was a transformation from being mall plus surface parking and no relationship to the street at all to relationship to the street in a new development and a strategic location of parking at the back okay which goes against the principle that existed before that according to which uh consumers to shopping mall needed to see the parking before going to the mall they needed to see that there was parking available okay whereas now the parking has been put at the back and thus de-emphasized Now, to illustrate what I was telling you about, the major land use and pedestrian space, let's just focus on the pedestrian spaces here. Okay, so you have the main street here, that's it, that is a pedestrian environment. Okay, like it is a commercial street a la Jane Jacobs, like multiple facades, generally fairly narrow frontage in the case of the stores, and the shopping mall itself is an indoor pedestrian space. And this is the pedestrian path that connects you to the university. And this is the awful intersection that I was referring to before. This is a view of Uptown Waterloo. Uh, now you can see the continuous store facades. So it really respects that. So from a pedestrian environment, it does offer that. So you don't have any broken or nearly no broken store facades in uptown waterloo so it is a relatively pleasant pedestrian environment and you have the sidewalk here you have the bicycle lane there you do have a lot of traffic it's a provincial road so there is quite a bit of traffic that goes through in uptown and the same thing on the other side where you have a lane for bikes uh, cycling and then for pedestrian sidewalk pedestrian same thing again same vision and now this is a square i told you about so at the back you see the former shopping mall the part that is still standing that has been renovated so if you go in, inside it is still a shopping mall but much smaller than it used to be and you have the new buildings that i showed you before on the aerial photographs on the sides here um, in normal circumstances, I mean, this, this is happening in the middle of the pandemic, so there's less people out. But in normal circumstances, there would be activities here, there would be people here. So there's a certain level of programming that takes place on the square. Okay, what kind of retailing is there? What kind of activities are there in Uptown Waterloo? This, this gives you a pretty good example okay so you do have some retailing but not as much as they're used to so what happened in uptown waterloo is what happened in the in the downtowns of mid-sized cities in general essentially that retailing uh you know stores that sold goods there's less and less of them although there's still some like there's that bookstores there's a few clothing stores and also there's even hardware in uptown waterloo but a lot of the space is increasingly taken by restaurants. This is a hamburger joint and entertainment and bars and cafes. So this is a bar over there. Uh, same thing here or, and cinemas, entertainment. So you have a cinema here, music store over there and restaurants, bars. Okay, bars are very popular, especially with the student population. This is the Hooter bar. So you have the indoor bar here and you have outside on top there, you have a bar that's open over the summer. This is a microbrewery to the right here. Now, if you include everything in Uptown Waterloo, so this Regina Street as well that is parallel to uh, King Street, where there's some retailing, there's a bit of retailing as well, or different establishments on the side streets. Then it goes up to 131, but the proportions are about the same, 40%. Uh, for stores, 17.6% for services, hospitality establishment, 32.8%, entertainment, 3.8%, vacancies, 53 and a total, 131